get our second hour with 57% of Twitter users now voting for billionaire and Twitter CEO Elon Musk to step down as the head of the social media platform. Musk released a poll on Sunday on his account asking his 122 million Twitter followers on whether he should step down as CEO. He vowed to abide by the results. However, it is unclear who will replace Musk and when exactly he would step down now that those results are in. The poll coming in after months of controversy since he bought the social media platform for $44 billion. That was in October. And on Sunday, we got another batch of the Twitter files dropped, revealing that Twitter executives were grilled by the FBI for not reporting enough state propaganda to the agency. Joining us now with the very latest on the Twitter files and also this latest poll by Elon Musk, our Tom Dempsey in DC. So I guess question uh, number one is, Will he, in fact, abide by the rules of his poll? I'm looking at Musk's Twitter account right now, and I don't know if this is a cryptic message, but he says, as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for, you might get it. Yeah, that's that's the very big question is what will happen next, Marty, with all this? We know, uh, you know, voting only lasted 12 hours with this poll, but over 17 million votes were cast with the majority of them, as you said, saying that Elon Musk should step down as the head of Twitter. This is the uh, poll question that uh, people who use Twitter saw over the last 12 hours. Again, asking them if Elon Musk should step down. Uh, they had 12 hours to make their choice, and Musk said he would abide by the results. As you can see here, around 57% of the votes said yes. Musk should step down. Again, this morning, we still await a formal response from Musk as well as Twitter as to what this could mean. But we should note, Marnie, in uh, one of his tweets yesterday, Musk said that there is no successor plan. So again, it's still very unknown what's going to happen from all of this. Uh, but Musk, uh, you know, putting this up to a vote and many people responding again, over 17 million votes cast, Marty. Well, and Tom, Musk also facing backlash for restricting certain uh, followers on social media platforms from mentioning that on Twitter. What more do you know on that this morning? Yeah, there's been a lot of attention on Twitter ever since Musk started uh, taking things over in October. In fact, recently the company made headlines with a decision from Musk to you know, ban uh, promoting other social media sites on Twitter. We're talking about sites like Facebook, Instagram, and Mastodon. Uh, millions of people who use Twitter do just that, promoting some, uh, you know, other pages or links to those other social media platforms. Musk also shut down an account that tracked the movements of his private jet and suspended journalists who cover Twitter. He eventually re reversed course on those things with the policy changes and reinstated the journalists after getting all sorts of pushback. But uh, Musk posted over the weekend saying that he made a mistake implementing those speech restrictions and writing, quote, going forward, there will be a vote for major policy changes. My apologies won't happen again. And as we saw, you know, an online vote happening on even if he should remain in charge. So again, there's still so many questions facing Twitter right now. It's been no, uh, you know, stranger to big headlines, Marty. But, uh, you know, we're still waiting to hear back from Musk as to uh, what the future holds for him as head of Twitter. Yep. How about the latest batch of Twitter files, Tom? Yeah, journalist Matt Taibbi uh, released the latest batch of Twitter files over the weekend. And this uh, thread really related to the FBI's relation, uh, relationship with Twitter. Uh, uh, Taibbi releasing emails and all sorts of posts showing that uh, the FBI reached out uh, telling uh, Twitter to take action on election, election misinformation and also asking for information from Twitter on its policies. So again, this really shows just sort of some of the behind the scenes, uh, you know, giving us a look behind the scenes for the social media company. Uh, Taibbi adding that uh, FBI viewed Twitter as almost a subsidiary, but the FBI responded saying, you know, it holds all sorts of communications with private companies. But the interesting thing with these Twitter files is it's shining a very big light on what's happening behind the scenes with Twitter. Marnie? Wow. And it's all happening on Twitter as we speak. You even see Elon Musk replying to Taibbi's report, and he says Elvis is in the building. Uh, a lot to talk about this morning. Tom, thank you for that update from D.C. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.